contentment there, but I'm afraid what you're trying to do here is not respecting all the people that are actually uh, trying to give beyond themselves. So I would really urge that you go very slow in um, trimming back all of these committees, especially the cycling committee. It does not need a, a trimming, again. It actually needs an expansion. It was trimmed rather uh, abruptly and badly under uh, Mr. Miller and Mr. Beats and did not function nearly as well as previous cycling committees because there weren't any uh, subcommittees, for instance. And it's the subcommittees that actually help really get into the nitty gritty of how to massage plans, how to actually integrate uh, things to provide that uh, that fine textured advice that really is needed. So in terms of the uh, letter that I was dropping, uh, dropping off, I hope you've had a chance to read it. It was actually a letter to uh, <coughs> uh, the six ministers, the Minister of Health, the Minister of Transportation, the Minister of the Environment, the Minister of Women's Issues and Children, um, the Minister of Energy, and the Minister of Health Promotion, because bikes can do an incredible amount for all of these uh, ministries. Uh, you know, there, there are so many co-benefits with bikes. Uh, and the simple solution is, if you're actually going to not bother with these uh, these advisory committees, and I fear that may well happen, it may have to be reversed to council as it was in 1988, um, the, the province should simply mandate these cycling committees throughout the province. That's a simple solution. It is so ridiculous to actually cut out these, uh, these committees. Um, in terms of how bikes can help things, obviously in the environment, there is the, uh, the uh, less oil, less pollution, carbon dioxide emissions. Uh, we are the home of uh, the Toronto Target. Uh, we're rather exceeding our emissions. Now we're getting to the point of having a liability from heat causing that, the emissions causing flooding. So in terms of respect for taxpayers, we could be on the hook given our emissions profile for a bunch of suits. Uh, clearly transport, health, public health, and uh, promotions, they all, we have a, a set of uh, uh, large, uh, bills with uh, the, uh, the injuries, the people, the cancers, obesity, uh, preventing things, energy costs, people are really sore about the uh, sore, uh, the sore points of the, uh, the pans, the gas pans, people are looking for an opportunity. So there's absolutely no question in my mind that having such a cycling committee, given the pressures for cycling, that is a such, a such a freebie, it's such a good advice. Uh, we are burning maybe three, four billion dollars each year uh, yeah, for our gasoline. People are looking for alternatives. Uh, we have to do it safely as well. Uh, and it's, you've got a systemic liability throughout all parts of the city for bad, bad, unsafe cycling conditions. We have a not work, not a network, we have a past work. So you have to do a lot more with basic road repair. I do fear um, that if you take out this cycling committee, you're going to, you, the very 